Hi everyone, welcome back to FS22. It's a beautiful fall day here in Elm Creek. Today guys, we're going to be starting a new business. With fall here and with the weather uh, getting colder, I thought, hey, why don't we start a side hustle of a firewood business? I'm willing to put the hours in to make that extra money. And this year, guys, with the supply and demand, with oil and heating prices really high, I think this is a big opportunity to start the business and to be quite successful. Uh, and uh, we do have a pretty good starting, uh, as you guys can see here. So I have a, about a house with a acre lot here so we have a lot of land uh, which is really good here I have a pretty decent uh, truck here this is a 2014 F350 extended cab long bed uh, it's an older work truck here but it uh, still keeps on running and I do have an older international tractor that's been with the family for several years and now I'm the owner of it here so today we need to get everything we need to f for the firewood business and that includes several things that is a wood splitter here, a chainsaw. We need to find a way to get wood. And the other thing, guys, is we need to buy a loader, some sort of loader, something cheap. I really don't want to spend too much money to get the business up and running. Like always, guys, there's a full mods list linked down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video and want to see more with the series, hit that like button. It's much appreciated. So guys, we are actually going to start off our day taking a look at a few skid steers. I think a skid steer is the way to go here. I was thinking maybe a tractor, but uh, uh, the skid steer would be a little bit cheaper. I found two that I want to look at here. They are both used. Uh, there's a lot of rust on them. They're nothing fancy. They're just going to get the job done here for us. So why don't we take the uh, truck and trailer is probably the best uh, way to go here. I have a small 16 foot utility trailer that I use for home projects. I'm thinking guys this is going to be a pretty fun business to start here. We're going to be starting with very little work in uh, to build it up. Hopefully one day we could have a big wood yard. That is my ultimate goal here. Have multiple people working for splitting wood and making several deliveries per day here. But I'm going to have to put out some advertisements on the marketplace uh, once we get uh, some firewood here because I think we should have no problem. You guys can see the fall is definitely here with the leaves changing colors and we need to get ready to get some firewood for sale. The first skid steer we're going to look at is actually at this local gas station. We'll just get pulled up here right out front. They wanted 6000 for the skid steer. It's a Massey Ferguson. Let's see. It's the 711. Let's take a look here. Oh, there is an oil leak down below. This must have been sitting for a week or two because there's oil all underneath. That is not a good thing. The other thing I'm noticing, guys, is there is no cab on this. And, oh, we have a flat tire here. Whoa. So two things I see. I, I, I'm not sure if we should even start it. Yeah, I think we're going to pass on it. The other one that I saw was a few thousand dollars cheaper and it, uh, and it had a few different features that I would really like. All right, let's go take a look at the second one here. It's actually just around uh, the corner from us now. It's actually the local farmer here, and I have to talk to him because he did mention on the phone he had some extra wood that we could uh, pick up. He removed a few trees, doesn't have a place for it, and uh, he said we could have that wood here. So uh, we'll take a look at that, but the skid seer is right out front. The second skid seer we're looking at here is a John Deere 675. And look at that, guys. It has a full cab here. Now, on the uh, phone, the farmer did say that it, it it did have heat. It did not have AC. So that's really good, especially working in the colder temperatures. He did uh, throw in a grapple and a bucket uh, for $4,000. So let's take a quick look at it here. Yeah, I definitely want to buy this one. Why don't we hop on the inside? The key is in it. Uh, we'll just get this thing fired on up. Yeah, first crank. Wow, this thing is going to look uh, and run so well for us. Let's just test the hydraulics. Yeah, everything seems to be working on it. So I'm going to uh, leave the money here in the barn. He said to put it in the toolbox. Let's see, let's see. Oh, the toolbox is over here. So let me put the uh, $4,000 here in the toolbox and let me get it loaded up. Off camera, I did talk with a farmer. He actually has a pretty big pile, probably six to seven logs 
that we're going to be coming back for. He said he'll be ready to get it loaded up here. I told him within the next hour and a half. But we do have a few more things we have to get here. We need to get a chainsaw and a log splitter. And we're going to go to a local store for that. I do know they sell log splitters. And I'm thinking we should probably get one for a three point. That way uh, we could have a little bit more hydraulic power. And we could just attach it to the old international there. But I'm going to get this unloaded here really quick. Let's get on over to the store. The goal is to get to splitting somewhat at the very least uh, by the end of today. On the way back to house, I was thinking about the other skids here we looked at here. And for $2,000 less, this one here was a really good deal. One that I don't think we could have beat. And that's awesome. We were able to pick this up here. Oh, this is going to fit perfectly there. But we'll just leave this here for now. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you do have a side hustle business. I thought this would be a really cool thing to do. And uh, it's a great way to make some extra money here. And I definitely like to uh, get uh, working. And uh, this should be a lot of fun here. So, uh, so we need to pick up the chainsaw. I was looking at probably around $250, $300. Not one too big. And I definitely want to get a still. That's the brand that I've been looking at here. And this store does sell them so that is a good thing here and oh look they have quite a few things outside they must be getting ready knowing that people are going to be needing uh different things for logs and wood here so they got a stump grinder oh this is the log splitter that i was looking at it is a thousand dollars here quite expensive but this is going to be well worth it we'll be able to make that money back now they do have a log trailer there wow that would be good if you're working the in a big uh, area and then bringing the wood out uh, to an open area here look at this wow oh this is for lease for rent for sale oh maybe one day maybe one day guys we'll pick something like this up here but i'm gonna go buy the chainsaw and i'm also gonna buy this log splitter and let's go back to house all right, we got the log splitter on the trailer, and I did grab a chainsaw, you guys, since see this is a still here. This is going to be perfect here. We'll just put a few tie-down straps on that, and let's get back to house. Now, we do need to pick up that wood, and then we could do some splitting. Firewood, guys, is one of the way many people heat their houses, and people do have fires to have uh, to sit around, to have s'mores, things like that. So... There's so many different things. We could do big bulk delivery, small bundles, and there's just so many opportunities here. Even sell to restaurants that uh, cook with it, uh, pizza shops, things like that. All right, to get the uh, log splitter unloaded here, why don't we get the old international fired up? Look at that, guys. The first crank this thing gets rolling, no problem. And that is awesome here. It's an old tractor. This has been in the family for several years. I forget who bought it, but I've owned it for about five, six years. And I do know a few other people owned it. Uh, maybe someone in the family bought it new here because this thing is super old. But we'll get attached here to it. And yeah, this is going to work perfectly here. This tractor might be old, but it is going to do the job no problem here. I'm actually thinking, why don't we get it set up right about here? will be perfect that way we can work there on the gravel but let's go pick up those logs and we'll get back here to do some splitting although this trailer isn't the best here probably need uh to one day buy a dump trailer some sort of trailer uh that's a little bit stronger as well this will definitely work here for us and i just brought a few extra tie down straps here so we should be good to go and let's see oh look the farmer is in his tractor i did send him a text that i was on my way and there it is that is the pile there. That's a good start. That should get us a quarter or two. And each quart is going to be probably about $350 to $400. But we'll get these loaded up. And one thing is I'm going to have to see if I can find more and more of this. Otherwise, we're going to have to pay maybe a logger for some here. But let's get going on this.
All right, let's put some tie-down straps on this and we'll get back to the uh, house here. Now, I did have a conversation with the farmer and uh, he said that he has some more trees to cut down. So I told him that I will come by, pick those up. And he said he'll have those within the next week here. He did also know a few other farmers in town that have some big piles of wood here. Sometimes, guys, it's uh, the connections you meet that help you along the way here. And he's really appreciative that I'm taking it off his hands. And I did say I would give him firewood as at a discount here. And he's really going to like that to heat his farmhouse. This trailer has a lot of lumber on it, probably a few thousand pounds here, so I'm going to have to look at it to see exactly how much we can fit on this trailer here. Really do not want to be overloading it here, but this trailer worked out quite well. The shorter size I actually really liked for loading and things like that here, but I'm thinking I'm running low on camera battery, so why don't we get this unstrapped here. We'll just cut a few pieces off and just put it through the log splitter for today. Let's see, let's see and oh we'll just cut it right off the uh back of the trailer here that way we don't have to keep unloading all right i got the international ready to go here i'm gonna get this split in butts i'm gonna call it a day here hope you guys enjoyed today's video the starting of a firewood business was a lot of work but guys we did it it's time to just get to splitting and start marketing our firewood so until next time thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more